Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 5th of June 2024. So yesterday, bonds and Bitcoin were bid, but not stocks. As a bad news, a jolt rate cut hopes uh, back to life. So yeah, they came in a bit softer than uh, forecast. Uh, today, we've got the ADP news as well. Cautious risk tone as NFP looms. Of course, we got that on Friday. Uh, US stocks close mix in overall uh, contained trade. The risk tone... Uh, throughout the session was cautious and then finally soft jolts triggers further growth concerns yield uh, slide continues so speaking of economic news today we've got the ADP the precursor to the non-farm payrolls this is out at 115 uh, forecast at 173.192 there also got some inflation news ISM services that's out uh, also and that's uh, forecast to uh, be slightly higher there as well uh, also the final PMI, similar thing there as well. Right, let's have a look at the markets, see how uh, they traded uh, based upon uh, the jolts uh, from yesterday. So starting off with the Dow, um, inside bar for yesterday, as the headline says, they're quite cautious. The market above the five bar moving average, though, momentum moving back to the upside, the resistance uh, to the left before you get back to the all-time high of 40,000 and 54 there it'll be interesting to see actually if there's enough momentum from the adp and the non-farm payrolls to send the market back to the all-time highs but uh, we've got uh, obviously uh, three days in order to do this it seems like it's a uh, quite a distance but it's not as far as you think uh, particularly the s p which we'll look at in just a moment as uh, Yesterday, the market was down in the electronic session. We then got the jolts. The market reacted positively to this, but then pulled back before then continuing to move to the upside up to uh, the high of yesterday in the overnight markets already. So again, still moving to the upside despite uh, that uh, cautiousness yesterday. Meanwhile, in the German DAX, trading down to the 62% retracement and the 50 EMA, the market found support at this level yesterday afternoon and then moved up from this. And overnight prices continue to move higher. Also, you need to get a close above the five bar moving average and the 20 if prices are to continue uh, any sort of support and upward movement back to the all time high that we see there at 18,921. In the 30 minute chart, we sold off from the open, as I mentioned yesterday in the alert that S2 was an interesting target. It was market held there you can see how the prices tried to hold at the low as well but failed to do so once they broke they traded all the way down to the s2 market then rallied mid-morning coming all the way back to retest the s2 after the uh, jolts was released and then the market making its way back got the uh, high up here so we've got a bit to move to in order to uh, take this out and continue back to the upside in the daily chart there in the s p 500 like i say it's the probably the closest to the all-time high as you can see there we've got rising lows and taking out the previous day's high we've already taken out uh, this high of uh, yesterday or just sitting around that now as uh, can be seen there but yesterday also down in the electronic session back up jolts pulling back to the 200 ma and then uh, prices moving higher thereafter in the FT100, uh, you can see that uh, prices are sideways to uh, higher. Let me just uh, make this a bit bigger so we can see it. And uh, we've got a nice retracement here as uh, prices now attempt to move back to the all time high as well at 8477. ADP, non farm payrolls, will determine whether this happens or not. 30 minute charts, uh, just like the DAX yesterday morning, selling off down to the S1 and then the market back up to the BRN back down below the 200 MA but eventually making its way to the upside and also above the high of yesterday as well so moving up uh, quite nicely there for the FT100. In the US dollar uh, market finding a bit of support uh, yesterday had a bit of an impact on the silver market yesterday as well up on the overnight as well so still some downward pressure to come in the metals if the US dollar continues to move to the upside so let's have a look at the metals see what happened during yesterday starting off with silver i was a day late in the forecast that i'd made on monday i said it would go down to the 20 break 30 and go down to 29 ish uh, in on uh, uh, during monday but it was tuesday when this happened we had a, a low of 29.33 i think it was 
uh, 35. So yeah, uh, silver certainly getting crushed yesterday. At the moment, we're back below $30, which is quite worrying, to be honest with you. We have a look at uh, from here to here. We've got plenty on the downside if they want to try and push it down to 62 or down to below 28. And of course, they've got the news to do that, particularly today and on Friday as well. So at the moment, silver looking uh, pretty gloomy, uh, having given back 50% uh, of its gains from uh, the breakout uh, that we saw a few uh, weeks ago from the end of uh, April there. Uh, maybe just a pullback. The demand is still massive as far as the fundamentals concerned, but the bankers have still got control of the price and will use the quiet days and any news in order to keep that uh, under pressure. One day it will end and when it does it will be vertical, but until that point I'm afraid it's uh, still under the spell of the bankers. So yeah, yesterday you can see the market being crushed and uh, then uh, sideways and trying to make its way back. But it's not looking good to get back above 30. And this is why, because when it did get back to $30, it was sold into again. So the, the idea is by the bankers is to keep it below $30. So anything up to 30, if you're long, you want to be locking the profits in because uh, I've got this funny feeling it's uh, still going to get crushed up further. Uh, same for gold as well. Still not taking out the previous day's high in the daily chart for the last three days. Uh, trying to come up there on the uh, overnight, which you can see. And yesterday, again, early morning, mid-morning, when the metals aren't really open, crushing the price, jolts, crushing the gold price. But I haven't got back above where they sold off with the, the jolts yesterday. So uh, gold certainly looking in better shape. And that can be uh, seen in the gold-silver ratio as well. So if you uh, look here, as we mentioned, it went all the way down to the 72, 73. We saw it as a major support, and sure, it certainly was as uh, the market's uh, being uh, propelled back to the upside there as far as the gold-silver ratio. So silver under massive pressure, and will, like I say, will continue to be so until it can break 35, which I've said before. There's uh, no chance of this market uh, moving higher. It's going to be uh, stuck in a range, and it was stuck in a range for the whole of last year as well. So, yeah, the gold-silver ratio uh, is looking rather ominous, actually. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we didn't get back up towards uh, the 80, 82 level, where we've got uh, this here, and also uh, the top end of 88. Right, let's move on and have a look at uh, the trades for yesterday and uh, see what the market's doing overnight. So yesterday we saw the weakness coming into the market uh, just after 7 a.m., and then uh, price is uh, showing a bit of strength to begin with, but then moving to the downside, which we've already seen, uh, trailing the stop down when the market got to the uh, low, taking the profits off the table here, because I know the low can be very uh, supportive of prices. And uh, there you'll see uh, we actually weren't, but we, we spiked down and then we came back. So still supportive and then bouncing off this level and then moving back to the upside. The low, the high, the most important levels for me in the in the market, especially in an, on an intraday basis. If you break it, then it will continue. If you manage to hold those levels, then it will reverse. And particularly if you've got a daily chart such as we have at the moment where the stock markets are bullish, if you can get through the previous day's high, it tends to continue. And if it doesn't, it comes back to the high, it'll bounce off and then move higher as well. So here, just uh, again, taking uh, the profits and then uh, another short there. Uh, you can see them buying back in in this uh, bar here where you've got uh, some green in there as well. So and also we're near the low. So the market uh, then is uh, sideways to higher, uh, but it does manage to come back and then takes out the low. And this time we head down towards uh, the uh, S1, but I got out too soon there. Uh, but then the market comes back to the low once more and then continues uh, lower. So I got out uh, too soon there. But a profit is a profit. The afternoon was a different story. The market waiting for the jolts uh, openings uh, was a quick trade to the scalp. And then uh, the market uh, wanting to see the news. This one was just too fast. Couldn't get into this trade. It happened in just a matter of a few seconds. But then uh, the market became bizarre, to say the least as it uh, put in a potential sell signal and then prices uh, rebounded uh, off this as you'll see in just a moment uh, so 
we en ended up with uh, the long side being filled, which cancels the short, showing a small loss on that. And then we had the opposite here. We got into a bit of a sideways move, but then prices broke and uh, continued to, to move down uh, over 50, 60 points there below the 200 MA. And then into the uh, final half hour where the market just became sideways, but eventually hitting the uh, S2 there. Right, so have a quick look at uh, the overnight markets. Um, prices uh, finding support. We've got the high of yesterday up here. We've got the DP and the close and also the 200 MA. All of the averages are in the correct order. 5, 20, 50 and 200 showing potential bullishness above the close and also the DP and the 200 MA as well. So at the moment uh, looking good for the upside and in the daily chart as well. You can see that uh, we've already put uh, a few points on in the overnight session as well. So let's see what the ADP numbers bring today and how the market uh, reacts to those. It's all getting slightly fractious out there and a sort of a nervousness as well with these numbers because we're, you know, vacillating from rate cuts to rate uh, or no cuts and the market doesn't really know how to respond at the moment. So again, today is going to be like that at 115 with the ADP numbers. Right, that's it uh, from me. Have a great day. And uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.